Have you ever had a time where you wish you could turn back the clock and do things differently? Hello everyone, this is Andrea with Revitalizing Your Health and today I'm coming on with part two of my story that I'm starting to share. There was a day that I wished I could go back and replay and do things differently. But we can't do that. And I remember this day very well. I was very excited finally about my pregnancy. And when my daughter was born, I was so overjoyed. I now had two boys and now I had a daughter. And I said, that is enough. I don't need any more children. I have my blessed daughter. My mom and I have always had a close relationship and I always dreamed of having a daughter and having that close relationship. And so I was very excited. Well, about five weeks later, I had laid her down for a nap. She had cried herself to sleep and I had been preparing lunch. It was soon time for her feeding and I seen that I had a little bit more time and I went ahead and decided I was gonna get lunch into the oven, even though it would go a little bit past her feeding time because she was still sleeping. So why wouldn't I just do that? So I did, I got the food in the oven and then I went in to her room to get her. And that's where my heart sank. When I looked at her, her face was down towards the mattress. And when I saw that, my heart sank. When I went over to pick her up, she wasn't breathing. It was, I was in a panic. I ran out of our house with her into our shop where my husband and our employee was working. Our employee was standing there and I looked at him and I said, she's not breathing. And I laid her down on the table and I began CPR. And my husband called 911. When I was 18, I had taken CPR and I was trying to remember now years later what I was supposed to do. And I was doing the best that I could, but 911 operator helped me to know what things to do. It was shortly after that, that there was a um, EMT that was off duty and she had heard on the radio about this baby that wasn't breathing. And so she started driving toward the address. At that time, GPSs could not get to our place. And so our employee drove down to meet her and showed her up here. And she started CPR on our daughter. She did tell me, I don't want to get your hopes up, but she has really good color. So at that point, she continued the CPR. And then our employee went down to meet the ambulance and then they took her in the ambulance to head towards the hospital I had held myself together you know when you're under that adrenaline you tend to hold together when necessary but once that moment was over and we were on our way to the hospital I fell apart I felt like it was my fault that I had done something wrong and I was devastated. This daughter I had prayed for was not breathing and I didn't know if I would ever have her again. And it was very, very difficult. I remember my dad asking me later, do you think that God was with her in that room? And I do believe that. And there's a promise I want to read to you, and it comes from Hebrews 13, verses 5 and 6. It says, Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with what things as ye have. For he has said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. 
So we may boldly say, The Lord is my helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. I can know that even through that experience, there is God's promise that He never leaves us or forsakes us, no matter what we are going through. And even in that tough time, I didn't feel Him directly with me at that moment. I was falling apart, but I know, looking back, I know He was there. He was there close to us. You know, the poem that talks about uh, wondering where God is when you're going through those hard times and you see those footprints in the sand and that there's only one pair of footprints. But the reason is because God is carrying you. So no matter what you are going through today, I want you to remember this. God will never leave you or forsake you. He will carry you through. And I know that, and He does carry us through every difficulty. Now, next time, I will be sharing a little more of my story. And I hope that this story, as I share it with you, will be a blessing to you in some way. And until next time, keep healthy and God bless. If in any way you have been blessed by this video, Please share, like, and subscribe to help me grow. And in advance, thank you.